We've had a ton of fun here today. We've been hours talking about bikes, we're talking about bike racers, we're talking about everything. We've got a special guest though, and this is a perfect cue for tonight's race, Cross Vegas here, Las Vegas, Nevada. I would like to uh, bring on Scott Neres, uh, Cross Bike Review, authored complete book of cyclocross and skilled training in racing. Scott, welcome to Interbike TV, my man. Thank you very much. It is a pleasure to be here. I always have a great time here at Interbike. It's great seeing all my friends in the industry. And I got to tell you something, Cross Vegas is really awesome. And I can hardly wait for tonight. <laughs> Neither can I. And I get to be a fan. I don't have to worry about commentating. It's just sit there and drink beer. No, just drink water. But anyway. All right, so tell us about what, I mean, briefly, because we've got so much stuff we have to do here. Matter of fact, Scott and I are going to be multitasking big time here in a second. What the heck is Cross? Cyclocross. You know, it's one of the biggest growing aspects of cycling in the U.S. right now. There's actually more UCI cyclocross races in the U.S. than any other country in the world. Cyclocross is it was a precursor to mountain biking. It takes place on a circuit one to three kilometers in length with undulating terrain, one-third road, two-thirds off-road. The off-road sections have barriers that are 40 centimeters tall, force the riders to dismount and run with their bike at speed. Just I, the last cross race I did, I think that's probably the first and last time I tasted blood. <laughs> it was that hard. There's nothing like getting out there and turning yourself inside out, turning the screws. It's just a lot of fun, but it's the hardest hour. And it's the hardest hour, too, but the funny thing that you bring up, too, is it's just this unique dynamic. I mean, most people say, well, is it road? Is it mountain bike? And it's a unique transition, too, and it has some, a little bit of running in it, too. Absolutely. Uh, you know, the riders have to dismount and run at speed, but they have, essentially, they look like road bikes with skinny, knobby tires on them. They're very thin, but they've got lots of knobs on them. There's no suspension. You've got mountain-style brakes, but yet you're racing it off-road. So you've got to solve a lot of problems with a lot of finesse and skill. Finesse and skill and power and pain tolerance. Okay, so we have a ton of, and you guys are getting ready to see here in just a second, we have a ton of, we're going to do a Three presentations. Tell us about the three presentations we're going to do here. That's right. This year is our anniversary of being one year old at CrossBikeReview.com. We review everything cyclocross. Our goal at CrossBikeReview.com is to review everything that you would use in a cyclocross race, give the feedback to the industry so they can make better products. And we've identified three things that are just outstanding in the cyclocross You want me to world. do a drum roll? Go right ahead. What's the first one? First one is cross bike of the year. This was really tough for us, but we identified one company with a cross bike that I think everybody's going to love. It's Scott Sports with their team, with their CX team bike. And here to receive the award for cross bike of the year is Adrian Montgomery. We're going to give Adrian our little handheld. Let me make sure that it's on. Adrian, buddy. There you go, my man. So what do you think about that? Look at that trophy. That is pretty smoking. That's over the top, honestly. <laughs> over the top. So what, is it, what do you think about this whole thing? I mean, cross bike of the year, man, that's pretty hot. That's pretty top shelf. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely going to bump the sales. But, uh, you think? <laughs> the funny thing is, is most of them are already sold. <laughs> oh, so it's a little supply and demand thing yeah, going on here. That's just so why don't you, um, here, I'll take your mic from you. Why don't you, get, why don't you show us that... Uh, that bike, maybe we can get a good tight shot of it when these guys come back in and it's gonna roll it up. So that right there, my friends, is the cross bike of the year, or Scott. So that's a pretty sharp looking bike and that's, um, that's a serious weapon in the world of cyclocross now. Absolutely, and the reason we identified it is because not only does it have a hydro-formed hydro aluminum frame, it has a carbon fiber fork with an aluminum steer tube, it has the Euro X TRP brakes, very styling, very powerful, and very light. Uh, it has the new Shimano Ultegra Grupo on it. Um, it has DT Swiss wheels. Very smooth is better, but it only retails for $1,699. $1,699. And you would have thought that a top flight cross bike would probably be around five to $7,000. Bikes in this category are selling for about $2,400. What would you do with an extra $700? Are we talking cyclocross? We're talking cyclocross. You'll find out at about 7 o'clock tonight. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, thank you, Adrian, very much. And a uh, beautiful bike. And uh, I guess they can go to Scott Bikes. Where can they Adrian, go? Adrian, congratulations. Yeah, congratulations. Where can they go to find it? Now, let's, let's see how you multitask it. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. Okay, my man. Value, Congrats. Value, thank you. Value, 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 value. There we go. And there's your award. Good luck on taking that. So thanks for Adrian to come out. So that is our first award. That was the 
Cross Bike of the Year, and I understand that we have another award. You're absolutely right. This one is for Cross Gear of the, war, of the Year. So we're looking at everything, clothing, uh, wheels, tires, anything else that, that we use in cyclocross, uh, chain rings, all that stuff. And we found one, another company that did a really excellent job in something that we all love, and that's wheels. Oh, so, I love me some wheels. Yeah, these are, these are fast, light, and they're a bargain. They really are. Okay, so who, who, who was the winner of the gear of the, look at me like I'm, like I'm behind a screen here, gear of the year. The winner is Specialized. Specialized. With the Rapidi 45 SL wheels. So we can bring those wheel sets up there? And who, who is going to be here for Specialized? This is Nick Sims. He's our international Nick Sims. Building. Nick, buddy, welcome to the show, Interbike TV. Thanks a lot. So tell us a little bit, Nick, about the, um, the world-class wheels that Specialized are rocking this year. First, let me thank Scott for getting the award. Um, I mean, what we had, we, we looked for aerodynamics, we looked for lightweight, and we looked for affordability, which you know you have in there the whole the whole package in that wheel set. And it looks pretty cool too, it'll make you look fast. Yeah, let's turn them a little bit this way so, so we can... you know, mentally that's half the battle if you think you're fast. You know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Halfway there. So that's what we're trying to do. So Nick, give, give us some insight. Uh, what if I wanted to go and I'm getting ready to race a cross bike? How much am I looking at it for these whiz bang sweet wheels that we've got here? Uh, this wheel set here is, and I'm just totally drawn to make you put me under pressure here. I'm just Sorry, I put the, the I put the screws. all the way from Morgan Hill to get here, and now I'm. How about we just say they're reasonable? They're reasonable, so they're very reasonably priced. That's why we won the award, right? That's, That's right. There um, they were, they were, they. Uh, we looked at them for their weight, their aerodynamics and their price point. And, and do they have both a, a, a tubular version and a clincher version? No, this is only a clincher version. Only clincher. Um, it's adaptable that we do different cassette bodies for the rear wheel, so that if you wanted to put a Campagnolo on it, you can change that cassette body. SRAM, DT, whatever. DT Swiss internal, so it's a well-known, reliable internal mechanism for the back, so you're getting reliability and you're getting the Swiss precision of it the back too. So. And when when you heard what was because Specialized is world renowned. I mean, everybody really enjoys your products. When you heard that um, that you guys won this review, I mean, you know, obviously that's got to be a really uptick in sales when you get something like that. Yeah, I mean, I think for the guys that have put a lot of energy into the wheel program, you know, we've always had it with you know, expect things with bikes and stuff, but to get a wheel now, it kind of legitimizes us being in the wheel business, and it's just gonna push us to develop more wheels and better wheels and keep going rolling forward. I got a great question for you. And this is a question that I think a lot of people want to know as they're watching on Interbike TV. Uh, and Scott can probably attest to this. You know, cyclocross, there was a big argument over Twitter about, you know, hey, I, I commentated my first cross race seven years ago and they said, Chad, you're so far behind the times. When Specialized decided that they wanted to get into was it something that you guys jumped in full wheels, or you just said, you know, let's just see how the whole cyclocross thing goes? Because it was big in Europe, and it went to the Northwest. How did you? How and when did you guys jump I think in? If you look, you look back with our tricross. I mean, we used to have Andy Jack Mains as our road product manager, so you know he's no slouch. Yeah, AGM bike. is not bad. So <laughs> we had that in there. We've got guys like Alan Coates, who's been national champion, and Chris Deluzio. So. We've got a core cool group of people in the office that are big cross fans, and it, it started with the bikes, and then as we got into the wheels, you know, we've just found wheels that we can adapt to both cross and road. To, you know, to adapt it to both the cross and the roadside. There we go. So, uh, you're going to take that home, and where are you guys going to display that trophy? Uh, first be, of all, can, where are you guys located? Where can we find you guys? Uh, we're in Morgan Hill, uh, just south of uh, San Jose. So if you're around, you know, come down. Come down around noon and we'll come, come and do the Lunch Ride World Championships. How about in this whole, do you remember which booth you oh, are? Um, the booth? We're just over look there. for the big specialized. We're side. over there, so we just <laughs> look for the big. There. Anything that's got the Tour de France yellow on it, that's pretty much where we are right now. Well, great. Well, Nick, thanks a lot for bringing a great product on. Congratulations for, work, uh, for gear of the year. Thank you very much. All right, no, cheers. Good thanks job, Nick. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Take that from you there. And there, take your award. Take that there with you. you. Display it proudly. Thanks. Congratulations. All right. Uh, okay, so that's two or three. That's two out of three. I I'm going to take a guess, and uh, just a guess. I'm guessing we're probably going to go, I don't know, shoes? You're absolutely right. You are absolutely right, because i got to tell you something. If your feet aren't happy, 
you're not happy. And I think you bring up a great point. There's three comp contact points on a bike. There's your butt, your hands, and your feet. And a lot of people skimp on them, but evidently, your bicycle shoes of the year, who are they? And they are not skimping on their product. They, you're absolutely right. They are not skimping on the product. And everybody, if you don't know who, who these people are, you absolutely should. Because <laughs> these guys make awesome shoes. It is uh, the, the cross shoe of the year. Cross shoe of the year. Cross Can I do a drum roll? Can. Brrr, is? Cross shoe of the year is the CD Spider Lorica. Oh, love me some CD. Oh. So come on, who's here from CD? This is Sarah. Hey, Sarah. So you got two shoes. So how you, you know, hold that. Here's a mic, Sarah. So, Sarah, what's the story? And hold the mic up nice and close so everybody here at Interbike can hear you and see you. Give us the, give us the full on one on this serious sweet CD that we're seeing right here in front of us. It's terrific to be here and be accepting this award. And I just also want to thank my Italians who are here, who are hey. too shy to get on stage. Ciao. Ciao. Who make the shoes in Italy in Treviso. So, you know, of course, you mentioned the three points of contact. Um, in cyclocross, it's really the third point, you know, your feet is so important because, of course, you're running as well. So you need a shoe that um, somehow magically feels really stiff on the bike, but when you get off and run, you know, you've got that little bit of flex and also that grip, that traction. So Sarah, so what you, for those of you who don't know about cyclocross, yes, you do have to run. So maybe we can get a little tight shot of that. See the bottom of that? It's not like your typical cycling shoe. So what you're seeing there is the CD SRS sole. So it's a replaceable sole. The tread on that sole is very soft and grippy. For those of us that are, well, who've been around for a while, you look at it, you think, ah, I'm a gumma. So it's a, a soft, grippy, sticky tread that it can, you, you can replace after you've been running. If you look at the toe of the shoe, you've got a rubber toe guard. So when you're off the bike and running, your foot's protected. So uh, you, you said the favorite three words here at Interbike TV. Grippy, sticky, and what was the third one? Amagama? No, what was the third one? I don't know, but it was really cool and I liked it. So we, I've never heard a pair of shoes being received. Because that's essentially what you want. I mean, when you dismount and you swing your leg through off that bike and you go to hit that run or get over that barrier, this shoe right here will both a transfer of power on the shoe is very high, but also there's a comfort level when you're running up the hills or jumping over the barriers. Absolutely. And you know, the other thing that's really important when you're running is, of course, cyclocross, the weather conditions are so extreme. I mean, you might be in SoCal, you might be in Colorado, it's hot, it's dry. You might be on the East Coast, you might be running in ice. You might be doing jungle cross, you might be a cross crusade, stepping in, you know, icy deep muddy puddles. And so we have shoes that really work for both. So this is my uh, mesh vented Lorica do, mesh do, shoe. Do you have a men's and a women's version? Or is it just a, right unisex? Now it's a unisex? Okay. And Which makes sense because you're gonna get muddy and dirty anyway, so what does it matter, right? Yeah. It is cross after it all. It is cross, definitely. So where can we find you guys here at Interbike? We are just off to the right, so if you uh, are at speed play, head straight back and you'll find us. We'll find you. Well, thank you so much, and congratulations. Is there anything thank that you, you want to say about those wonderful shoes? Yes, I do. She, she actually mentioned one word, and it sticks in my mind. Uh, when you get off the bike, and that one millisecond, when, you're, when both feet are not on the bike or on the ground, magic. They transform from cycling shoes to track shoes in that instant. And this huh. is the shoe of my choice. Very, and and very they're, they're, they're awesome. And I can't say uh, enough good things about these shoes. They really do the job. Well, great. Thank you, Sarah. Thanks and so thank much. you guys from Seating. Congratulations on your shoe, uh, cross shoe of the year. Thank you. Good right, job. Thank you. There's your award. Thank you. Cheers. OK, so um, Scott, breaking it down tonight, we've got a big race tonight. We're going to see a lot of these components. Uh, can I stick you out on a limb there? You know, we got a lot of international competitors here tonight. That course is. It's not a real climber's course, it's flat, but that grass is really thick, and it's, it's, like, like, it's, it's like riding through peanut butter. <laughs> it just saps, saps the energy out of you. It's hot, it's dry here, so we got racers from all over the world coming, so they better hydrate. But, you know, I, I'm liking the Frenchman. Ah, so you're going to go the French route. I'm going to go the French all route. All right, we're going to hold you to it. Scott, thank you so very much for being on Interbike TV. So hang out just one second. No problem. And once again, folks, this is Scott Maris. Uh, we are now going to button up. We're going to take a little short break, but here, this is a very important situation. You've got to send us some information. You can do it to ATP at InsideCycling.tv if you want to ask us some questions, like to Scott or Cross Racing or whatever. You can also tweet us, underscore Chad Andrews, or 
at ICDOT TV. Send us some questions, give us some feedback. We'd love to hear from you. We're going to take a short break right now, and we'll see you on the other side.